You can see in this shot here, this pen is super annoying. Let's go and remove it. You can do this in either the Fusion or Color page. I'm gonna show you both in the Fusion page. Hold down Shift and tap Space, and then search for Patch and choose Patch Replacer, add that. You get these two circles, and in the Color page, have a node here and in the effects search for patch replacer and drag the patch replacer on to the node again you get the same interface these two circles the circle at the start of this arrow this one here represents the source this is what's going to be used to overwrite the thing we want to delete and the second circle at the other end of the arrow is the destination we want to put this over the thing we want to replace in this case the pen what i'm going to do is use the mouse wheel to zoom in hold down the middle mouse button and scroll across by default, you're gonna get an ellipse, which you can resize like this. But if you come over to the settings, you can also choose rectangle and resize that however you want. I'm gonna choose ellipse in this case. What you wanna do is position this over the thing that you want to replace. I'm just gonna zoom out using the mouse wheel or hit Z to fit everything on the screen. Now I'm gonna drag this source patch down to an area that matches the destination. In this example, it's going to be a part of the table over here. And as you can see, as I move this around, the destination changes. So we just wanna find a source patch that's gonna match up with the destination. Let's zoom back in on the destination destination and this is already looking pretty good if you want to fine-tune things open up the patch position section for the effect here and you can fine-tune the source and the targets let's move the target position a little bit left and right to fine-tune that and we can fine-tune the source position here as well let's go back to the target and you can even adjust the source position while looking at the target to fine tune things even more. Once you're happy with it, there's a few things you can do to fine tune the effect. The first is this replacement detail slider. If you set this to zero, everything goes blurry, so you probably won't want that, but you can just reduce this a little bit if you just wanna sell the effect a little bit, especially if the source is slightly less sharp than the target. And the other two important sliders are this variability slider. And as I move this up and down, you can see that things subtly shift in the target here. And you can also blur the edges of this thing if you go too far the actual thing we're trying to replace will reappear but you can add a tiny bit of blur edge if you just want to help blend the source and target together a little bit you might want to zoom right in to see this effect the on-screen control section here is pretty useful as well if you want to hide the source and target ui overlays you can just click hide and to bring them back click show I'm gonna hit Control D to disable the effect. Now we get the pen back and Control D again to re-enable it and the pen disappears. If you've got movement in the frame or other complicated scenarios, the patch replacer might not work, but there's other techniques we can use, which I'll cover in a future video. So please subscribe if you wanna see that and hit the notification bell. Hopefully I'll see you there.